um, you know, it's pretty common knowledge that we didn't really use conductors up until, you know, the middle of the, the Romantic period, so that evolution and changes in dynamics and tempo, it was helpful to have a traffic cop there to really explain exactly what that change in tempo, what that change in dynamic was going to be, so, um, you know, that to me is really important. Um, what I'm going to talk about is, should I just keep going? Okay, I'll just keep going. Usually what I, this talk that I usually do about clicks and streamers and stuff takes an hour and a half or two hours, but I'm going to try and condense it to ten minutes. So if you don't mind, I'll read. And one of the things I, that I like, just for the sake of brevity, which is one of the reasons we use a click track sometimes is to go quicker, right? So I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do that here. One of the things that I'd like to... Um, it's like a little mantra, I think, that is just an explanation of where we are currently. That doesn't mean this won't change, but I'd like to just say that I haven't seen anything, seen or heard anything in the realm of technology that surpasses, it can get close and sometimes even equals, that surpasses the emotional impact of music created by a wonderful conductor, a wonderful group of musicians, orchestra, band, whatever you have. Um, and trying to realize the, the potential in a wonderful piece of music. I mean, to me, that's a really important statement. Everything else is a plan B. That doesn't mean plan B isn't wonderful. Click tracks and streamers are a fabulous plan B. But the impact, the power of a conductor who really knows what they're doing on the podium with a wonderful group of musicians is just, you know, it's still, that's still the bar. When we... Everything else is a little bit below that, or, or equal, you know, there's been some staggering, wonderful performances with streamers that are spectacular, and clicks, when they're used properly, they, they're right there, you know, so 